we need to do is to basically go to the zoom icon at the bottom and uh, start the zoom software uh, once you have the zoom running you will be asked to log in into the pass uh, into the zoom software enter your username and password the username is already entered so i'll just enter the password for this and uh, after entering the password uh, I'll get to this screen where it's asking me to uh, enter a one-time code. The one-time code has been sent via email uh, to me and I can actually find it in, in the same email. So here I've received an email from Zoom with the one-time code. The one-time code in this case is 873498. You need to find your own one. Uh, and once you enter the code, uh, after that, you need to press verify. Uh, as soon as the correct code is found, it will take you to this screen where you can find uh, the new meeting, join, schedule and share screen etc. options for Zoom. In this case, since we want to join a new meeting, what we can do is we can go to the email address, uh, the one that you gave to GIK Institute. Uh, you must have received an email from the uh, admission office of GIK Institute with some heading like GIK Admission Test 2022 instructions. Uh, once you click these instructions, you'll find some instructions similar to this with attachments for uh, instructions and for mock exam and for actual exam as well as uh, the admit card uh, that, that you have uh, and uh, you'll have admit card number mentioned here, you'll have a link to the mock test mentioned in this email, a link to the actual test mentioned in, your, in the email as well as the date and time for mock and for uh, the breakout rooms that you will be used as well as the uh, date and time for the actual test uh, along with the uh, breakout room that you will be using the actual test. So in this case, since I'm going to show you how to join the mock test, uh, you need to identify this link. So once you click this link on 19th of July uh, at around 8 a.m. where this will be working, uh, you'll come to this screen and automatically the Zoom software, once you, since you've logged in, will, will show you this thing. Remember that uh, your posture uh, should be something that in which your screen and your face are completely visible. Uh, the keyboard and mouse are also visible. Your desk is visible as well as there is no clutter of uh, wires etc. Uh, and uh, your everything is very clear. Uh, you should be using an external uh, camera, web camera with mic and your side posture should be visible. So in this case, I'm going to join with video. And uh, once I joined uh, the main meeting, I'll be taking to the uh, uh, waiting room where someone is going to let me in. Once I am let in, uh, I'll be uh, uh, taken to this screen where there, uh, this is the main lobby uh, and the main uh, place. From here, I'll have to join a breakout room, the same breakout room that is given to us in email. In this case, the breakout room given to me is room two. So I'll join room two. Uh, remember that the uh, uh, with, the, with the click we can join room 2 now and this is now going to take me to room 2. Uh, what you need to remember is that uh, uh, your name that is being shown over here should be the same as your uh, reg number or admit card number which is 22 uh, triple, uh, triple zero double zero 001 and if the room uh, if the name is different you'll have to log out and first get the name right before joining back in. Uh, and in this case, uh, once I'm in, I'll be uh, there'll be an invigilator here that will be uh, looking after the whole exam, uh, and uh, they'll be asking me some questions. For example, to show my ID uh, and as well as show them the room at, before the start of the exam. So uh, remember to join the room at least 15 minutes before the start of the exam so that they can follow the procedure and follow the process to find out information about you. Uh, keep the mic as well as the video full time on during the exam you, should, you cannot turn either of them off or you, uh, you might be disqualified and after completing the exam after giving uh, the exam that the exam link is given in test marker and in, in a separate email uh, so i can go and uh, again check on the email if i've uh, received an email from class marker uh, and i can join class marker using class marker credentials uh, once i've completed the exam i can then uh, leave the room as well as uh, switch uh, turn off the video after submitting the exam so with that uh, for example in this case i can then after completing the exam i can leave the meeting and this is going to bring me back to the this screen and with that the whole uh, set of instructions is over